Who was John Gotti? John Gotti was born October 27, 1940, in the South Bronx, New York, to Italian immigrants Fanny and Joseph Gotti. The Gotti family, with 13 brothers and sisters, settled in East New York, an area known at the time for its gang activity. By the age of 12, Gotti was working as an errand boy for an underground club in the neighborhood run by Carmine Fatico, a captain in the Gambino family, the largest of five organized crime families in New York City. Gotti soon became the leader of a gang called the Fulton Rockaway Boys, a group known for their frequent robberies and carjackings. He was considered a bully and constant discipline problem at Franklin K. Lane High School until he dropped out at 16. By 18, the police department ranked Gotti as a low-level associate in the Gambino crime family. Between 1957 and 1961, Gotti pursued a life of crime on a full-time basis. Gotti's arrest record included street fighting, public intoxication, and car theft. By his 21st birthday, Gotti had been arrested five times but served little jail time. John Gotti would face run-ins with the law several times, including a four-year prison term for manslaughter before becoming head of the Gambino crime family. Gotti quickly became a major player in the Gambino hijacking crew. In 1968, Gotti served his first major sentence when the FBI charged him with committing cargo thefts near John F. Kennedy Airport. Gotti was convicted and sentenced to three years in prison. After his release from prison in 1971, Gotti continued his life of crime. In 1985, the FBI had gathered enough evidence to place Gotti and his partner in Della Croce under federal indictments for racketeering and heroin trafficking charges. The drug charges infuriated Castellano, who punished illegal drug trafficking with a penalty of death. To suva over the situation with Castellano, Gotti asked Della Croce to speak to the boss on his behalf. But before an understanding could be reached, Della Croce died of cancer. All goodwill between Castellano and Gotti dissolved when the boss didn't attend Della Croce's funeral. Gotti saw the behavior as disrespectful, and according to later testimony, he decided to take action. Two weeks later, on December 16, 1985, Castellano was gunned down outside Sparks Steakhouse in Manhattan. Gotti was made boss soon afterwards. By August 1986, Gotti had become something of a local hero and an icon in his Howard Beach neighborhood. When it came time to face trial for the tracketeering charges, Gotti and the other defendants were acquitted of their crimes. FBI officials later discovered that the jury foreman fixed the verdict. It was a crushing defeat for law enforcement officials, and Gotti became the mob symbol of invincibility, earning the name Teflon Don because charges against him just wouldn't stick. While Gotti acted as boss, the Gambino family made more than $500 million in revenue from illegal activities such as gambling, drug trafficking, extortion, and stock fraud. As a repeat offender, Gotti was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole and sent to federal prison in Marion, Illinois. Gotti later died in jail the summer of 2002 in Federal Prison Hospital from complications with head and neck cancer.